Deuteronomy 18, Witchcraft and Other Abominations What are all the things found in Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 through 12? Are they still being practiced today? Let's define these terms and see how modern culture and even some charismatic churches still practice these things. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 through 12. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Let's begin with the phrase passing through the fire. This was a type of child sacrifice given to a false god named Moloch. Pagans would have little children placed on the idol's red-hot, outstretched hands. This caused them to burn up and their ashes to fall to the fiery pit in his belly. We don't see this type of sacrifice today, but Yahweh hates the killing and sacrifice of any child for any reason. This includes abortion. Deuteronomy 12 verse 31 Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination the Lord which he hateth have they done unto their gods. Divination one claiming to have uncovered hidden knowledge or have foreseen hidden things. We see divination with psychics, fortune tellers, and tarot card readers. But we also find these divinations in the charismatic movement, like in Bethel Church located in Redding, California. They justify using tarot cards as a way to uncover hidden knowledge, which Yahweh says only gives false visions and deceit. Jeremiah 14, 14. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught, and the deceit of the heart. Then we have observer of times. Heathens would label certain days and either as good or bad luck. They also observe clouds, stars, and animal behavior as signs for uncovering mysteries. Today this would be similar to reading horoscopes. Believers are commanded not to use these things. Leviticus 19.26 Neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times. Witches, enchanters, wizards, magicians, and charmers. These were men and women who attempted to curse, cast spells, and deceive others. They try to have some sort of connection with spirits. Many modern day witches and warlocks say they don't work with the devil. But Satan being the deceiver has simply gone by different names throughout the generations. Sadly, there are some who think it's okay to be a Christian and still practice witchcraft. Yahweh forbids it and does not leave room for exceptions. Exodus 22 verse 18, you shall not permit a sorceress to live. And finally we have necromancy or consulter of familiar spirits, one who and seeks information from the dead or spiritual wor world. The New Age movement is all about com communicating with familiar spirits and seeking the supernatural. Sadly the New Age movement is found all over the charismatic movement of the church. And again, Bethel Church in Redding, California performs a practice they call grave sucking or soul sucking. They try and soak up the gifts and anointing of dead Christians, which is all part of their New Age doctrines. 1 John 4.1 Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So yes, these things are found being practiced today and sadly are even found in the charismatic movement of the church. I will leave several links in the description below of former witches who have come to know Yeshua and also the practices of New Age movement found in the charismatic church. Be on the lookout for anything similar being practiced in your churches today. We are to observe Yahweh's commandments and be set apart from the world. Thank you and Shalom.